This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this video, we're going to look at one of the basic animations that jQuery offers. Now this is provided within the core library, but there are plenty of plugins which extend the functionality too. So let's open a basic page. You'll find this in the Working Files Chapter 4 folder and it's named 0402example.html. It simply places a blue box on the screen which we're going to animate. Now note that the box has been absolutely positioned in CSS. The effect will be a little different if you've used another positioning method and added margins. Now you'll notice that jQuery has already been included on the page. And we've also created a jQuery object which holds our element. So first we'll look at the hide method, which as you'd expect, will hide the box. We save it and refresh, and it disappears. Now that's not very interesting on its own, so we can pass a duration to the method. Now this will apply the hide effect over a specific period. Durations are entered in milliseconds, so if we use a thousand, it'll apply the effect over one second. So let's save and refresh. Now what's happened in this case is that the height, width and opacity of the element is reduced until it disappears completely. Now you can also pass durations as text values and jQuery defines two by default. Fast, which is 200 milliseconds and slow, which is 400 milliseconds. So let's apply fast. And you'll see it happens very, very quickly, hardly noticeable at all. Now you can actually define your own speeds. So let's make a very slow speed. It's done by using the jQuery function dot fx dot speeds, which is an array in JavaScript. And we'll want to call it very slow and set it to three seconds. If we apply that, save the file and refresh, you can see the animation occurs over three seconds. Now this is very useful if you want to define consistent animation durations which are used throughout your scripts. Now once an element's been hidden, you probably want to show it again. And unsurprisingly, that's done using the show method. Again, it can be passed a duration. Now jQuery queues the effects one after the other, and that's important to remember because it will be coming up in later tutorials. Now you may also find the toggle method very useful. What toggle does is hide the element if it's currently visible, or it will show the element if it's currently hidden. So if we use toggle immediately after a hide, it will show it by default. 